Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about an idea I had um, to improve the well-being of our, of our lives living under a state. And the idea, I've called it a inverse surveillance state. So, real quick, what is a surveillance state? A surveillance state is when the state has extreme amounts of surveillance on its population. The purpose of the surveillance is to control and to intimidate and all those things, you know. Orwell 1984, you guys know what a surveillance state is. It's really simple. However, inverse surveillance state is just the opposite. It's where the people have surveillance on the state. Now, we have the technology to do this. Essentially, what would be done is we would have complete and utter 24-hour surveillance on all government officials. That's all people working in the government and everybody involved with that. That also includes government documents. They are all completely declassified from the beginning. And all of it is live streamed and up for everybody to see on the internet. So the purpose of this obviously is to prevent um, undesired behavior on the part of government officials. Corruption, um, you know, being a dick, all sorts of stuff. This will have tons of benefits. Not only will it prevent corruption, it will also make it so that uh, the people always know what's going on in the government. I mean, how many times have you, like, been hearing stuff coming out of the White House and, like, you have no idea what's going on? For example, what's going on in the Middle East? Personally, I have no idea what the U.S. is doing in the Middle East. No idea. And this is a problem for me, because as a voting individual, uh, we all talk about how democracy has to be, like it, the populace has to be well-informed in order for democracy to work well. This is how you have a well-informed populace, so that we know what our own government is actually doing. What our elected officials are actually doing, not just what they say they're doing. Now, there might be a couple objections to this idea. And the first I can think of is the personal well-being of those working in government. And the simple answer to that is, who cares? I don't care. We, we have this idyllic image in our minds of the civil servant, you know, the person who dedicates their lives and sacrifices in order to serve their country as a member of the state. All too often, this myth is just that, a myth. Uh, however, we can make it a reality through surveillance. Now, it is true that it would be rather uncomfortable for some of these people. They're going to have to be surveilled while they're on the toilet. They're going to be surveilled when they're making shady deals. And frankly, that's the point. The other objection I can think of is military secrets. How could we possibly have a good military if all of our enemies know all of our military secrets? Well, the answer to that is yes. <laughs> so the thing is, you don't really need that many military secrets in order to defend your own country. I could theoretically conceive of such a surveilled government to be using perhaps third parties to actually contract out like the individual bases. Of course, the, all of the details of all those contracts would be publicly available. And so there's minimal chance of shady things happening through that because we would know all of the details of the, of the agreements and the contracts. But the fact of the matter is we don't need to be invading people overseas. If the purpose of the military is to defend us, then they can still do that. Doesn't matter if some of those things are public knowledge. I mean, heck, we have satellites in the sky. Other countries can definitely see where our military bases are. It doesn't matter if we have it publicly available or not. Now, I would never expect the United States to actually implement this. It's just not going to happen. It would be impossible. This would have to be something that is implemented in your constitution from day one when you're building a new government. Because the fact of the matter is, existing interests are never going to let this happen. 
just because for obvious reasons, you know, it, it conflicts with their interests and their power. So I'm not expecting this to be a thing that actually happens, at least not in the US, but it's an interesting thought exercise to kind of think about what makes democracy work and why we think it's a good thing and all that. So, hey, there you go, reverse surveillance. That's beautiful.